When using a tracheostomy tube, it is important to know what each part of the tracheostomy tube is called. Although tracheostomy tubes come in many different shapes and sizes, the parts of the tracheostomy tube are nearly universal. Join me this week as I discuss each part of the tracheostomy tube. The part of the tracheostomy tube which rests on the neck is called the face plate, neck plate, or the phalanges. This part of the tracheostomy tube has slots in it where the tracheostomy tube ties or tracheostomy tube holder attaches. Many tracheostomy tubes have printed on the face plate, neck plate, or phalanges information about the tracheostomy tube such as the size and brand. The shaft of the tracheostomy tube is called the outer cannula. Some tracheostomy tubes have a removable insert which is called the inner cannula. The inner cannula fits into the outer cannula. The part of the tracheostomy tube which connects to a ventilator is called the 15 mm connector or hub. On some tracheostomy tubes, the 15 mm connector is on the inner cannula, while on other tracheostomy tubes, the 15 mm connector is on the outer cannula. On some tracheostomy tubes, there is a balloon like feature on the distal end of the tracheostomy tube. This is called a cuff. The cuff can be inflated or deflated. If the tracheostomy tube does not have a cuff, it is called an uncuffed or cuffless tracheostomy tube. For more information about cuffed versus cuffless tracheostomy tubes, please see the video Cuffed versus Uncuffed Tracheostomy Tube. What is the difference? On cuffed tracheostomy tubes, there is a line which hangs off the exterior of the tracheostomy tube. This is called a pilot line or inflation line. This line enables the cuff on the tracheostomy tube to be inflated. At the end of the pilot line or inflation line, there is a small balloon-like structure. This is called the pilot balloon. If the pilot balloon is inflated, this means the cuff on the tracheostomy tube is inflated. If the pilot balloon is deflated, this means the cuff on the tracheostomy tube is deflated. At the end of the pilot line, there is a valve which controls the pressure inside the cuff on the tracheostomy tube. When the valve is pressed down, the cuff can be either inflated or deflated by using a syringe. When the valve is closed, the inflation line is sealed, which prevents the cuff from being inflated or deflated. On some tracheostomy tubes, there are holes in the shaft. These are called fenestrations. There can be one hole or multiple holes in the shaft of the tracheostomy tube. A tracheostomy tube which has one hole or multiple holes in the shaft is called a fenestrated tracheostomy tube. For more information about fenestrated tracheostomy tubes, please see the video, What is a Fenestrated Tracheostomy Tube? If there are no holes in the shaft of the tracheostomy tube, this is called an unfenestrated tracheostomy tube. With each tracheostomy tube, there should be a slender piece of plastic which can fit into the shaft of the tracheostomy tube. This is called an obturator. The obturator is needed to insert the tracheostomy tube into the airway. Once the tracheostomy tube is inserted, the obturator should be removed. Included with some tracheostomy tubes is a cap or plug which fits over the 15 mm connector. This is called a decannulation cap or plug. This is used when preparing a person for decannulation, which is the removal of the tracheostomy tube. For more information about decannulation, please see the video, Decannulation when a tracheostomy tube is no longer needed.
On some tracheostomy tubes, there is a special line which extends from the exterior of the tracheostomy tube. It is called a subglottic suction port. This is used to perform a special kind of suction called subglottic suctioning. For more details about subglottic suction, please see the video, What is Subglottic Suctioning? Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye. I know tracheostomy tubes vary slightly from company to company. If you have any questions about your specific tracheostomy tube, please feel free to contact me in the comments section of this video or on Facebook or by email life.with.a.bent at gmail.com. And to all those who celebrate Shana Tova, may the year 5784 be sweet like apples and honey. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.